Hello and welcome to my tutorial for converting a PNG image into an SV image using Inkscape for uh, those who have uh, Easy Sketch Pro that need images to convert. Um, you know that software works better with SVG images. So in order to get uh, Inkscape, it's free. It's a free download, open source. Just go to Google, put in Inkscape, you'll come up with this. Click on download. Now, depending on if you have Windows or a Mac, I have Windows, so I would collect, select Windows. If you have a Mac, you select Mac. So I'll go to Windows. Now, this is for the 32 bit application. This icon here, so you just click on that. But if you have a 64 bit application, you would go over to partha.com. Um, I have a 64 bit application, so that's what I have on my computer. And you get downloads for GIMP, things like that. Um, down here is Enscape for 64-bit. So you just click on that to download it. Okay. So now let's convert a PNG into an SVG. So you want to do first, go up to File. You want to open. Find your image. Which in my case it is right in here. This is my PNG right here. So I'll select that. Make sure that the link is ticked here and not embed. This from what I understand makes a smaller file. So click that. Click OK. And uh, I know this is a pretty big image, so let me get this bigger. All right. On yours you may have a space that's a little smaller. See the borders around here? That's the size of this space because the image is big. It just I guess this one just automatically does that. But you're you might see a smaller working space here. But everything works the same. So what do you want to do? You want to select this image. You see the arrows that showed up around the edges. You want to go to path. Trace bit map right here. Click on that. And this box will come up. Now, I'm not sure what all this does. You could play around with it. But the way I do it is I come down here and select colors, which unselects that. These are two different sections here. Uh, I uncheck smooth and leave everything the way it is. And this is showing eight scans. I'm going to lower it a little because it's just a regular black and white image. So I don't really need to scan it too much. So I'll just lower it down to two. I'll click OK. Now you can leave it at 8, it'll probably work the same, this is just what I do. So this will be your preview image. So I click OK again. Alright, and I'm done. X out of this box. Now, what you do is you put your cursor on top here, you drag it down, and you'll see you have two images. The top one is the SVG, and this bottom one here is the PNG. So I'm going to select the PNG. Now the arrows are around there. I'm done with this, so I'm going to delete it, and it's gone. Now I'm going to select this SVG. I'm going to move it up inside the space. You can see the borders around here. I want to fit this inside that, just like that. Okay, it's still selected. Now I'm going to go to Object. And I'm going to ungroup. Okay. Now I'm ready to save the image as an SVG. So I'll go to File, Save As. I'm going to select where I want to put it back in this file here. Now down here is very important. You see where it says Optimize SVG. Now when you first use the software, this may not show up. You may have um, one of these up here. But you make sure, this is very important, make sure that you select Optimize SVG. Okay, so that's selected. I'll go down here, click Save. And this will pop up. Now when we first use this, it may look like this. Okay, 
but you, what you want to do you want to make sure the top four boxes are selected so unselect that select this one so all four are checked and then click OK okay we'll go back to the file this is the image that I just made now I'm gonna to go to Easy Sketch Pro alright this image here is the PNG image as you can see it draws it from left to right okay it doesn't look very good alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that SVG image that I just made in Inkscape so I'll click that, I'll click this folder I'll go to desktop I'll find that folder which is right here I'm going to select the SVG image open wait till this done comes on like it is you can see the image is right here click this see it's a pretty big image I'll double click on that slide it over so I can get to the corners to resize it okay I'll move it back up here like that I'll kind of make it the same a little bit all right right click I'll fix the camera I'll go down to properties I make the drawing link the same time eight seconds if I can get it there whoops all right seven seconds will be okay I'll leave it there all right now let's play it this is the PNG image right here doesn't look very good although you can use PNG but just doesn't look as good as SVG now look at this SVG here it just drew a box around that Alright, I don't like that either. It did everything else in here okay, but I didn't like that. So here's how you fix that. Go back to your image, right click on the SVG image and edit it with Notepad. This is what I use. Maybe whatever you have will work, but this is what I use. Click on that and come down to where it says metadata and the first path underneath metadata. What you want to do, you want to highlight that and delete it. Okay, then you come down to here, to the next one down, backspace it so it's back up on line 25, and then click save. Okay, let's go back to Easy Sketch Pro, bring in another image, and we'll go back. So this one here is that we just edited with uh, Notepad++. Well, select that, open that, wait till done comes on. All right, done. All right, let's resize this image to fit in our canvas. Slide it over, fix camera, go to properties. Try to get the same drawing time. If I can get it to eight, there we go. Okay, now watch. <clears throat> Our PNG, which draws from left to right. Our SVG, which has the box around it. We don't like that, but the rest is pretty good. Now look at this, no box. Okay, hope that helps. And if you're interested in Easy Sketch Pro, click the link in the About section and check it out. It's a really cool piece of software. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.